lesson, we want to solve an inconsistent system of linear equations by graphing. There are, in fact, three types of systems of linear equations out there. First, there's a consistent system with two lines meeting in exactly one point. The second variety is inconsistent with two lines being parallel and not meeting at all. And the third one is called dependent, where we think we have two lines, but actually the two lines are exactly the same line. Today we're going to focus on inconsistent systems. So let's graphically solve the system of linear equations 2x plus 3y plus 6 equals 0 and 2x plus 3y minus 4 equals 0. Well we start with our original equation, our first equation. Let's subtract 6 from both sides of the equation. 2x plus 3y equals negative 6. Let's subtract 2x from both sides of the equation. So we have 3y equals negative 2x minus 6. Let's divide through by 3. So our equation then in y equals form is y equals negative 2 thirds x minus 2. Let's set up a table of values. Let's have x equals 0, y equal to 0, and x equal to 3. If x is 0, if we put 0 in here, we get negative 2. If we put x equal 3 in here, the 3's cancel. Negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4. Lastly, if we, we let y equal 0, we have 0 equals negative 2 thirds x minus 2. If we add 2 to both sides, we get 2 equals negative 2 thirds x. Let's multiply by the reciprocal of negative 2 thirds, which is negative 3 halves. So we're left with negative 3 equals x. So with these three points, we have 0 negative 2, we have negative 3, 0, and we have 3, negative 4. Let's see if we can connect these to make a straight line. When you graph and solve by graphing, you really have to have a very accurate graph to get good results. So in this case, we have 2x plus 3y plus 6 equals 0. Let's continue by doing the same thing with the second equation. Let's add 4 to both sides of the equation. 2x plus 3y equals 4. Let's subtract 2x from both sides of the equation. So we're left with 3y equals negative 2x plus 4. Let's divide through by 3. We have y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 4 thirds. Let's set up a table of values. We have x and y. Let's put 0 for x, 0 for y. And let's put a negative 4 in for x here. So if x is 0, we get 4 thirds. If x is negative 4, we get 8. 8 plus 4 is 12 thirds, or 4. And if y is 0, we have 0 equals negative 2 thirds x plus 4 thirds. So we subtract 4 thirds from both sides. Negative 4 thirds equals negative 2 thirds x. Multiply both sides by the reciprocal. Negative 3 halves. The 3's cancel. The negatives cancel. 2, 4 gives us a 2. So 2 equals x. So we have 0 4 thirds, that should be about here on our graph, 2 0, and negative 4 4. Let's see if we can connect these together. And this gives us 2x plus 3y minus 4 equals 0. Notice this system is inconsistent because the two lines are parallel. A nice hint, if you notice the number in front of x here as compared to the number in y, in each case it's the same ratio. As long as these two numbers next to them are different, we will have an inconsistent system.